Hi, I'm RK here and welcome to my new video. Today we're gonna talk about Strata and I'm gonna say this, I am not an expert about Strata. I'm just, I'm just a user. I turned this on, tried it for a few days, I mean more like a few hours, but <laughs> I was very uh, curious about Strata and uh, in uh, 5.0 patches, I think there was a mention about Strata and that it will be coming to, to Unreal. So I was like, hey, right, something new, maybe it will replace materials, gotta, gotta see what is, that, what is this all about, right? And unfortunately, you had to uh, compile your own, uh, your own uh, engine from source your own instance of the engine from source yourself uh, to, to use it. But fortunately in 5.1, we can test Strata ourselves without doing any of the extra work. Uh, so it's just the matter of uh, checking a box in project settings. So I'm gonna sh show you right now how to do this. Um, you basically go to project settings, look for Strata. And there it is, Strata Materials Experimental. So just check this box and prepare for your whole project to be recompiled because every shader is gonna change and it will take a long time to, to, to you know, redo every shader. So don't test this on, on huge projects because uh, I don't recommend it, but I mean, I can stop you. Uh, but I recommend uh, making a fresh new project, uh, maybe make a few assets, uh, add a few, uh, few features and try making something yourself with Strat. Right? So make a new project, import a few, a few things, enable this and just let it roll and, and have some fun. That's what I did and uh, this video is mainly for people that have no idea about Strata, what that is, but are curious and heard about Strata and want to see how it kind of looks and what do they need to know to start actually playing with it. So, step one, enable Strata. I already did that, so uh, I'm gonna move to a, to a different project. But as a reference, I'm gonna have this project open as well. And uh, so you can see how the, the normal material works without Strata enabled. Um, as you can see, we can, we have some uh, par parameters, which is color and a result node, which is uh, all, uh, all very standard, of course. We can change the main blindfold shading model and uh, use material attributes if we want. And Strata actually uses something similar to, uh, to material attributes. So if we uh, want to compare those two, then we probably should use material attributes here. So it's basically this, right? But let's uh, let's make a material attribute first. Material attributes. We basically uh, take this, take this, take this, and emissive and base color. Make attributes and plug this in. And this is basically how Strata looks. I'm gonna show you in a moment, but, but yeah, this is a, a gist of it. Uh, so yeah, how, how it looks in, uh, in actual nodes, it looks like this, basically. Uh, so instead of a result node, we have, a, well, we still have a result node, but it uh, has a few things, um, that are not in in result node in uh, in material attributes if we enable them, but it's, it has something different. It has uh, front material, and uh, in addition to front material, we can edit 
world position offset, ambient occlusion, uh, refraction, pixel depth offset, so uh, stuff that you can <coughs> manipulate with vertex normal, for example, world position offset can be of course used for uh, for a metal ball that I made uh, a video about before. I converted it to strata, but just used uh, a strata material function. Uh, so yeah, we have a front material which is, which acts basically as um, this this pin material attributes, and we use a strata slab, uh, which also acts like material attributes. Uh, we can skip this, of course, and just pin it here. We have base color here, and uh, it will just be, be white. So, so that's a, a very basic uh, introduction <laughs> to, uh, to Strata and, and how it works. Uh, there are, of course, uh, new nodes, as you can see, fast amount, fast color, SSS, MFP, um, and a few different things. If you make a, a whole new material, I'm just uh, gonna create something that says test strata 2. I can see, yeah. So if you make a new material, it also looks a little bit different. So instead of uh, edge color metallic specular, we have F0 and F90, which uh, means reflectivity. And uh, from, uh, from the documentation, which I'm gonna link in the description, and you should read it because it has almost everything that you should, that you should know about Strata, if you want to uh, dig a little, a little bit uh, deeper into it. Uh, then we can see that uh, F0 means uh, reflectivity which is viewed perpendicularly to the surface and F90 is viewed tangently. So that's, that's, the, um, that's the difference. Uh, and if we just make a new slab, then it's gone. So I don't know what's up with this. Maybe it's a bug, maybe it's not. but. Uh, just, just so you are aware, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this. I'm, I'm using this, this slab uh, in my materials, but I mean, feel free to use this and uh, test how it works. And so another very important thing uh, that you should know before experimenting with Strata is that you no longer have to change material domain, blend mode and shading model. It is handled by the Strata uh, notes. So if we want to uh, make a lead material, then we just plug this to front material. If we want to make an unlead uh, material, then we make a strata unlead BSDF and just plug it to front material and it changes to uh, to unlead. Simple as that. Right? If we want to make a decal, then we use strata convert to decal and plug this in and it will say deferred decal. So yeah, as you can see, it's a, it's a very nice user-friendly way. Uh, you don't have to change it. It just handles by, it's just handled by, uh, by nodes. And you can, of course, make light function, post-process and volumetric fog. Actually made a volumetric fog uh, recently uh, using Strata. And it, it was a nice process, and I'm probably gonna make a tutorial about it um, in the future. So yeah, that's, uh, that's basically Strata. Uh, you can blend Strata BSDFs, which is kind of an equivalent of uh, blending materials. So if you copy this, and you can just uh, blend material attributes and plug this in. We're just gonna use uh, bum, 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 red here and green here. 
and it should blend to init alpha probably maybe because it's still black <laughs> oh no you you have to plug in alpha uh, right why is this not Oh, I'm mixing different uh, different values. Okay, so let's just unpin everything. How is this not compiling? I have no idea. Fucking material attributes, am I right? <laughs> Dude, blend. Why are you not blending? How is this? Float three and float four, how? Okay, let's just make a new material attribute. <laughs> Call it the green. And uh, mix those instead. Why is it still black? I, I I don't know. It was working before. Okay, it's green. It's yellow. Okay, it's now working. <laughs> Sorry for the little break, but uh, my my editor just uh, just had a stroke, I think. Uh, so yeah, this is blending materials in in, uh, in our normal basic material editor, and uh, this is blending in Strata. Just do add, uh, and that's it. <laughs> and I guess it's uh, automatically using um, 0.5 as an alpha, but there is a node that you can use. To, the, to do a different blend and there is a strata horizontal blend which has a mix so it's it's more like uh, the legacy blend so you can just pin a, a value of let's say 0.7 now those two pin it and yeah we are blending with uh, alpha 0.7. So it's, uh, let's see, foreground is one. So it's more more this, less this. So yeah, uh, this is it, I think. Let's not uh, drag this out further. Uh, this was Strata and uh, how you can start actually playing with it. A few things that you should know. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you just one more thing because I don't think I showed you. Uh, but if you convert your normal material to Strata, I mean, it will happen if you uh, enable Strata, all of your materials will convert. Then uh, your base material will basically uh, change to Strata legacy conversion and use shading model that you used. Uh, in the material. Everything should be roughly the same and it just plugs to, to front material. So yeah, this is just a legacy conversion. You should not use this in, in new materials, but if you uh, want to just uh, modify previous materials, then it will just, uh, just use that for compatibility purposes. But if you make some major additions to the material, I should probably just swap it to slab and use this instead. So yeah, this, is, uh, th this was Strata for people that have absolutely no idea what was that and how to make anything uh, with this. Uh, so hope you enjoyed and uh, have fun experimenting. This is it from me and to the next video. Bye bye.